who is online and can hear me. We are going to give this another shot. So what I need you to do, as soon as somebody comes on here, is go to your browser. Let me see. Whoops. I should probably put in Alright, we're going to go to Oop, wrong keyboard. <laughs> I'm going to sign in myself to Ooh, sorry about that. Let's go back. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up there. I hit something somewhere. All right. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ba, la, la. Okay, okay, that's not that's what not I want. Media files. There, there we, we go. go. Media files. All right, All right, now, now it's going to get, get weird. weird. There we go. See no live G Tech podcast. podcast. All right. All right. <laughs> Give me a Give second, me a second here. here. Uh, let's, let's see. see. I get this, this one. one. Go back to my main console. Okay, the number is 1701-801-4367. Let me I'm going to type that in right here. 1701-801-4367. I believe that is correct. Then press Five and oops, I keep forgetting I'm not on there. See, no, okay, it's give me a second here. I will give you the URL HTTPS www. Xenolive.com forward slash GTech podcast. Whoa. Hey, kitty. I have a cat. It's Jelly. Yes, hello, Jelly. You're such a good kitty. And she wants to climb all over me, of course, right now. Right. So if I go back over to here, I can monitor. Don't hit. Okay, so that is. Who's still on here? Ed, is that you? You still on here, Ed? If you can hear me, say something. Uh, you can either go directly to the link that's shown there. Or you can call it on your phone, you can call it on Google Voice, you can call it on however you uh, you want to do it. And I know this is not exactly compelling radio. Uh, 
And no one's listening. Oh. Okay. Oh, I wish there was a way. Oh, I bet there is. If I go to iTunes. Oh, yeah. So if I, I can bring in an audio file from iTunes here on the secondary computer. And if I drag that into the media air section, whoop, isn't this fascinating? Isn't this like just such com so compelling? Oh, I don't have the. Uh, Okay, so the artist I want is something a little new. See if I can get to it. There we go. There it is. Okay, so that's so that you can hear me. And except there's no one listening right now. time loading up. Okay. So it says I got, whoa, I got one person that's going. So if you can, whoever it is that's, that's listening, please, uh, that number a call that's 701-801-4367 then dial five you can either dial it through your cell phone you can dial it through google voice however you want to do it i really want to try this out so so who's on here Who is listening? God, I love that song. That's uh, that's Royal Blood is the name of the group, and it's basically just a guy on drums and a guy on bass. He's like oversampling his bass, of course. Well, whoever was on is now off. Okay. Well, this isn't working. Who is 
I know this for whoever may be watching that this is not compelling at all. I'm really, really trying to get this to work. And whoever is that's watching, please, please, please dial 1701-801-4367. One seven oh one. Yeah. So, while I wait for someone, anyone, to uh, <laughs> jump in. Whoa, just almost lost my headphones. Okay, so I'm live. Uh, having this music going is probably distracting as hell. We'll see. It looks like Carl Madden is getting ready to answer. Uh, let's see. He has to check his contract first. Uh, may be able to actually request contact right from the web browser. So I, I don't want him to spend a lot of money to just make me do something. But it looks like we had somebody out there. 705, looks like there's a couple of things. Alright, so somebody is now on. Hello, probably Carl. Hi, Carl. Is that you? Is that you, Carl? Is there, oh, hold on. Let's see here. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? All right, I'm gonna quit the song. Can, can you hear me? Yes, 
I can hear you. Yes, 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 yes. Is that you, Carl? Yes. Hey, yes, dude. Carl. So I need to turn What's you up you a little been... bit. Okay. I can't sound too long, though, because I have no idea what this is costing me. Why can't I hear you that well? Okay. <laughs> Try it now. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. All right. Well, it works. I am. Okay. It's, you know, I, I tried this last Wednesday night and it, it really didn't work that well. I, I, I couldn't get anybody on. They were able to, they were able to, um, to get on, but they couldn't call in. None of the call in features were working. And this is this service I was talking about that Xeno live. Uh -huh. And it, looks like it's supposed to work but this is a free service so who the hell knows yeah it's not for me <laughs> yeah well it doesn't work in the uk well, it works no, it only does i'm just thinking of this call is costing me money if i'm calling america oh um okay well i i just really wanted to check and see if it was going to work and it looks like it is working yeah so yeah it's working i know it must be yeah. like what almost two o'clock in the morning one o'clock in the morning? It's 20 past midnight. Oh, what are you still doing up, dude? I'm talking to someone. <laughs> Don't, Don't you, do that. <laughs> Whoever it is you're talking to, he's a complete idiot. <laughs> yeah, mate. All right, dude. All right. Yeah, it works. I've got, I've got, I'm going to hang off because it's probably cost me a bomb. Okay. Well, I appreciate it, dude. We'll talk to you, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. Bye. Okay, so that's basically how it's supposed to work. Um, we got two people on right now, it looks like, in, in the Facebook group. Uh, if you can, please either go over to the link that I've got there in the chat room or dial 1701-801-4367. And then dial five. Yeah. Oh, hey, Damon, dude. Evening from the UK. Yeah, I was just talking to uh, to Carl. Yeah, I was playing with the setup. Um, music louder than me. Yeah, not a surprise. That because that's actually on a different computer. It's it's the the, the way the setup works. Is, uh, oh. Got somebody else calling in. Let's see who this is. Hello. 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 Who's this? Guy. Brian. Oh, hey, dude. What up? What up? So it's working. Yeah, I was just talking to Carl. For the second Mann. time. <laughs> yeah. Now, where are you calling from again? Uh, you can Google Voice just because whatever you know it's kind of fun, anyways. Hey, uh, calling from from uh, Silicon Valley. So okay, yeah. so you're out in California. Oh yeah, definitely California. A little rain, just a touch bit of rain today, basically, but otherwise it's been uh, decent weather this week. So yeah, and and as far as time zone, basically it's almost four thirty here, four twenty two right now. So yeah, you're because you're three hours behind. Oh yeah, your East Coast, right? Yeah. Figures. Well, yeah. East Coast, <laughs> exactly. There you Friggin go. East Coast. So. Yeah. So, did you hear the music playing? Uh, I heard you talking, basically, and I, just, and I saw you were doing it still live, so I, you know, dialed back in to okay, you hear that? these things out. So, and I don't hear any music right now, so what should I be? Yeah, you're not getting the music back into your big call. I was basically just uh, playing it right off of the other, the other computer, and uh, I thought that was going. Oh, you know what? That's not going back to you because that's coming from the Mac Mini, which I'm doing through a Mix Minus, which means mm, that anything so coming from out, right? that computer, you're not being able to right. hear. Okay, that exactly. Makes sense. Which is the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, we get horrible feedback. Yeah, exactly, which is why mixed planets is a wonderful thing. Right. Well, the uh, I have a, um, thing too. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> and wearing headsets is good too, anyways. Yeah. And have a proper <laughs> microphone and all that stuff. Well, I've Speaking got a twenty one hundred USB. You know. Well, I'm sorry. Say it again. I have my ATR twenty one hundred USB microphone here, so you know. That is an awesome Which microphone. Is a decent, it's a good microphone. It's a microphone. It is. You know. I yeah. mean, I've got. Have you have you tried the Knox? You know about the Knox UMO one. Uh no, I'm not aware of that. Is that is that a, like is it? It's is it XLR only, I assume, or no? It, it's like almost a direct copy of the ATR two thousand five, which is a very similar okay. mic to the twenty one hundred, but it's cool. it's less expensive. So I don't know. It, well, since you already have one, you probably don't need another. But uh, well, I mean, I I know people that are microphone fiends that like have like. 20 microphones or something like that, you know, like what two people I know that are like just, you know, they're crazy about microphones. They sure. Collect them like people collect cars, you know, <laughs> it's like, well, you know, I, I mean, obviously, like, I mean, they, they know, like, in some environments, they're going to have like a shotgun mic, other ones might have a lab mic, one other ones they might have it's like the news gathering kind of mic, like you out the field kind of thing, you know. And you know, honestly, there are different reasons for having different ones, or even, even the over the, the headset type mics, and you know, deals well, but. Well, the the nice thing about the headset mics is you get the um, you at least get the isolation away from um, you know people because what a lot of people do is they they rely on the software to filter out live yes, speakers. That you don't want to do that. <laughs> no, you really don't want to do that. It's like they might say telling somebody that they're going to use software array based on their computer and like yeah that's interesting anyway. Yeah, so and, yeah don't do that. <laughs> But this is this right here. This is a high LPR forty, nice. and yes. I've got in my mobile kit. I don't know if you were there the night I was showing off the mobile kit. Um, mm -hmm. I've got a Behringer. Oh, what is that? It's an XM eighty five hundred, I think. Okay. It's it's like a twenty dollar mic that that works almost, but not quite as well as like an SM fifty eight. Uh, but it's mm. also like one fifth the price. So. You know, yeah, you, this was, you take the bad with the good. It, the it's not a bad mic. In high school. Yeah, those were those were like really popular for like stage mics, that kind of stuff, sure. or like you know, put on on a on a um, stand, that kind of stuff. Anyways, you know, so mic stand. Yeah. So, Marcus says Bob Heil is a god. He is this. I love this microphone. Um, and then I've also got a uh, Electra Voice ND seven six seven A, which is a dynamic. Um, super cardioid microphone. I've got right. two uh, uh, Sennheiser eight thirty fives to go with yeah. that. So I've got four microphones: two Sennies, one Electra Voice, and then the Behringer, all going to a, um, a, a Presonus. 44 VSL, I think it is. It's okay. a, it, it's got four XLR, X, XLR inputs and will mm -hmm. output through USB, uh, four mono tracks or four mono. That's um, good. Yeah. So I can have everybody on their own mic on their own track. Good stuff. Yeah. Of course the, um, right. the I have all this in a backpack <laughs> The freaking thing weighs like fifty pounds, and I know the right. The I mean, they, you know, that's like I have a mobile, like a mobile broadcast, uh, you know, yeah. band in your back, <laughs> kind of like you know, that's that's you know, because people they do these. You seen the um, for video, of course, they have like you know the uh, satellite trucks, not satellite, the sure. um, microwave trucks and everything, you know, and, and that stuff even gets more crazy, of course. But then you see people like. Um, Phil Nelson over at New Tech running around with his TriCaster. They talk, you know, they, they, they bring it everywhere kind of thing. And then you got these like, you know, live view backpacks and it's just, just, yeah, it's pretty cool what you can do nowadays. I'm going to say as far as mobile wise, it's not like you have to actually the laptops or the else you can, or even smartphones, you just, you can do a lot. Without sure. actually having and and with all the work. different live services, but you know, YouTube and Facebook and, um, mm -hmm. does Twitter still have a, a, a live thing? Did they kill Vine? Yeah. No, no, well, no, Twitter has got Periscope anyway. Periscope. That's what they're doing, right? Yeah, that's that's their live thing. I don't know what's going on. I thought they had fun. Fine, but they or might. I'm not sure about that. Service? Basically. Probably something separate anyways. I'm not sure. I didn't know Twitter bot was involved with them, but, you know. 
they could be they could be they could have been using Twitter's social graph, right? You know, your which is kind of part of the onboarding thing. It's like, okay, who do you know on the service? Make it immediately available for people. Right. Kind of like it. So yeah, but uh, I gotta say, as far as my iPhone 10, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying that. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah. they yeah, yeah they just uh, updated the Clips app yesterday. I think yeah, I saw that. So I've been playing with that. That that's fun. I well, I mean, I, it's usable right. on a six plus, mm-hmm. um, and I've tried right. it a couple times, but um, I haven't tried it in a while. I haven't tried the new version yet. Well, you can't. The, the you need you need the ten to take advantage of the the new scene feature. I think you know, it's actually it actually transports you into the scene, and you actually can swivel around or walk around, and actually it looks like you're walking around in a different place. Basically, it's really crazy. So, yeah. No, it's it's fine. So oh, we got four people no, listening. I'm, you do. Well, I see yeah. that. Well, three right now, at least on my on my screen here. So uh, Damon Thornton, yeah. Marcus Benjamin. I don't know who else is. Uh, anyone who's listening to this, go ahead and sign in. Who are we listening to listening besides, to besides that Brian. guy? I'm yes. Hi. It's Brian Monroe. Marcus, the guy that complains about his iPhone. <laughs> 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 Marcus can always find I like Marcus. He's cool. About. Yeah, he's Isn't he's that cool. right, Marcus? Just, just yeah. something, anything. You'll just find something. Birthdays, birthdays, Christmas gifts, I don't know, iPhone stuff, yeah, who likes, pods, I don't who know. Who likes <laughs> stuff for free? You know, I mean, that's, that stuff sucks. Yeah. I, I prefer, I, I much prefer to have to overpay for anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like, He's it's, just this, being this real. <laughs> Thanks, Marcus. <laughs> exactly. Oh, hey, Damon. So we got Marcus. Yeah. We have Damon. Are you are you signed on through Facebook as well, or ju- or just through? Yeah, Zeno I Live? am. Okay, no, so no, you're probably the third so person. You, yeah, I must be the third because I don't think any. I don't see anybody else comment in the chat room, and usually somebody would say something. Usually, yeah. <laughs> they're watching usually. Um, no, I mean, that's so, yeah. And I'm happy that things are working out. So, you know, and that your, your system's working here. It's good to test these things out. Of course, cause that was kind of bizarre the other night when it was like, you couldn't, yeah, nothing was working. I on, couldn't figure it out. Know? It had, to, it I, had honestly, to be something with Xeno live. I mean, yes. Matter of fact, I was having a thing and talking to my client this, this, this afternoon anyways, she was trying to put the DTMF tones on her iPhone and actually she was trying to press a button. They'll go to a different extension or something like that. And didn't work. And I was like, well, this is, that's just, you know, with the digital technology, you may have a bad signal someplace and that happens anyway. So, yeah, you know, you can see the same thing there with, you know, live for some reason, it's not translated across basically. You know, it should be hearing my button press, but it doesn't get it. So. Uh, anyway. Let's see. Damon says, thanks for the feedback on new Mac pro. It looks like 2018. Yeah, it is looking like it'll be at least 2018 before they, they come out with a new Mac pro. Uh, in the meantime, and, and, if you need something with uh, a little more oomph than mm-hmm. um, like a standard iMac, the iMac Pro is, I believe, is going to be out next month. Uh, that's that's what yeah. I'm kind of hearing. Um, doesn't mean it will. You know, Apple hasn't. I think. Well, did Apple even say anything about this year? Did they say later this year when they first they, talked they about the it's iMac Pro? December. I'm almost positive. But look at the website. Just went just so I can. Uh, yeah, here. it's a five thousand dollar freaking iMac. Now, you know, yeah, it's a, it's well, it's an eight eight core. I think it's got two quads in it. It's a yeah. monster iMac. I mean, it it it's incredible. I think it comes standard with sixteen gigs of RAM, but you can put up to, I think they were saying one hundred and twenty eight gigs if you can afford that much RAM. Um, <laughs> from Apple, yeah. yes, exactly. Yes, that's going to be expensive, of course. Well, I, I would be. I'm to... still surprised that they haven't fixed um, AFPS for spindle drives yet, or for what are they? It's available the, in December, um, by the way, on their website. Yes. Oh, actually, no. Did you see Alex? Um, one of those guys I know used to be an Apple Tech, uh, Apple Tech, um, tech support person, anyways, tech support guy, and he did post a video. He did say apparently spindle drives. You may not even want to do it on spindle drives is what he's saying according to some things he's seeing anyways, you know. So it's 
the the understanding I have is this really is technology to develop for the the uh, SSDs, which includes iPhones and iPads and that kind of sure. stuff. You know, solid state storage, and you know, it's like that. That's kind of why we need the new technology because the underlying the way the data is being organized on the disks versus how it's being organized on the flash storage is different, and therefore, um, and actually, how many kind of like the idea is you don't defrag a you know a SSD, SSD. drive, you know, right. You don't, right? And so there's no that, point. That's something you do do. Well, that's exactly the, well, yes, but that's kind of like the idea is that we need new file systems to take advantage of the new architecture, right? It's like you take something from old to bring it to the new, but then you need to, are not taking advantage of and might even actually shorten in the battery life or not the battery life, the rewrite, rewrite. My understanding the number of times you can rewrite. What you're talking about if you, if you defrag an SSD? Yeah, you don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, it definitely years. will. Because, I mean, you have, well, I mean, you have a, a limited number of, of writes and rewrites on spindle drives as well, but it's, it's a much greater number than it is with SSDs. So if you think about exactly. what a defrag does, it's basically, it, it's looking at the entire structure of your hard drive and it's saying, okay, well, you've got this little bit here and this little bit here and this little bit here, you know, spread out all over the place, depending on how long ago right. it was that you put that file in. And then it's saying, okay, we're going to take it from there and we're going to take the other piece from here and the other piece from there. And we're going to move it over here. And once the files all together, we're going to move it back over to here. So you're talking, say you've got a, a file that's broken up into four pieces and it could be very very many more than that well it's going to do four read reads four writes and then a fifth write to move the completed file to a different location so you're looking at you know god knows how many different uh, read writes on an ssd before it finally gets into its its separate place now the reason why doing a uh, a defrag on a spindle drive makes sense is because the, the the structure of a spindle drive is such that you know you could still have these pieces all over the place and it's it's up to the directory of that drive to know where everything is so but it could be right. on completely different platters so it's going to say exactly. okay well you want to start this program i have to go to this sector on this on this um, spindle and then this sector and then this sector and then this, you know, you could be going to well, two or three different, you know, um, uh, sh shit. Um, yeah. Platters. Platters. platters thank sectors. you. You could be going to different platters yeah. just to start a program or open up a file. So if you, if you take all of those various bits and pieces and, and put it onto just one platter, then yeah, it's going to speed things up. But with an SSD, because the 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 read is so much faster than it is on a spindle drive, you, it, defragging it means nothing. Did I say that right? It's almost like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's so close. So close. Well, it's close. Basically, the idea of things are spread all over the place. And it's like having a, a pizza with like all the pepperonis on like one area and or just kind of like not where everything's kind of like not evenly distributed, right? On a, on a pizza, for example, right. you know? And you actually want to get, you know, or things are actually, that's actually the problem. You actually want all the pepperoni each on one slice. You don't, don't want it. I'm sorry, it's the reverse. Let me try that again. If you <laughs> actually want all the pepperoni in each on one slice. You all want the bacon on one slice, and you want to keep everything together, organized, almost like a bento box, basically, versus this massive, you know, hodgepodge the way things are, basically, which makes it have to take a lot longer because the read-write access times on spinning drives are just a lot slower, especially sure. on those horrible, horrible 5,400 RPM hard drives. Uh, Shake me angry with that, basically, with putting those in the systems and making people feel like that fast computer is especially, I mean, people spending good money on iMacs and Apple dumping in these 5,400 RPM, you know, uh, uh, laptop hard drives and these things. It's like, it's a cr criminal. I mean, it's like, it's horrible, basically. I mean, they had, they had to this, get rid of the computer. This is why, good. you know, I'm, you know, I'm I'm still on this 2010 Mac Pro, and that's why. Um, I it just feels like an all-in-one machine. If anything goes wrong with it, then you got nothing. You know, you've got a great big monitor that's that's pretty much only good for a monitor, because the rest of the computer is not going to work. Right. 
You know, you can always get another you know. freaking monitor. Yeah, well, monitor. Well, the Apple monitors. So we say that, but of course, Apple's not making monitors anymore. Which is no, and I just, I just <laughs> started using this, um, this beautiful twenty-seven inch um, cinema display that I got from Warren. God damn it! Mm. This oh yeah, that's right. you, know, you got paid for. That's right. Because you got his capped off from a customer that was paying him in parts versus. Yeah. Actual money, I guess. Well, it was it was a twenty four. I mean, it was a great deal. A twenty fourteen Mac Mini and a twenty seven inch cinema display for three hundred bucks. You know. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm just saying. You know, I mean, it's, it's, you couldn't beat that with I a mean, stick. I, no, I agree. I agree. And honestly, someone's got some extra. It's like that's that's cool. It just I always like the cash better. Well, I'd actually rather gold, but you know, it's a different story. <laughs> well, the, the thing yeah, is, you know, if he had no, asked me, if he'd asked me for more, you know. I would have paid for. I would have mm-hmm. paid more. Because this, this no, is no. I'm, I'm talking about him. I'm talking about him getting paid in, in parts versus actually money. You know, it's like okay, oh. you know, trade. Oh. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, I'm like, you know, that's all great, but you know, <laughs> you're kind of limiting what I. Anyways, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I agree, I agree with Mark if he got robbed. <laughs> well, he, Not from I, you, he didn't get from robbed. I mean, that's from what the, he asked me for. No, no, the customer I'm talking about should have paid him money, basically. That's my point anyway. So I, that's up to him, basically, how he wants to run his business. But to me, I'm, I'd rather have the money, and then I can buy what I want to buy. And I'll buy used parts. It's fine if I want, I want them, you know. But, you know, that's up to him. Like right. <laughs> well, I, I think everybody yeah. made out. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not, I mean, like I said, that's cool. He, he got what he wanted out of it. The customer got what he wanted out of it. You got, everyone's happy. That's that's the most important thing at the end of the day. Right. You know, so. Hmm. Uh, no, but, uh, Marcus so, yeah, wants so, me to show it off again, but I can't because I'm I'm actually I'm not using. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can. If I got second monitor you can do with your cable. What do you call it? Um, I don't know if I've got enough cable just, to do this. There's my old monitor. Oh. If everyone can see that, or they'll be, they'll see it in about ten. Se- you'll see oh, it in you, about ten seconds. I was going to say yeah, take a second for so, the. Um, there's the old. There you go. Main monitor wow. that I used to use. You can see that. There you go. Yeah. And then here's the, whoops, here's the cinema display. And then that second monitor is the same as the one that's up there. But the Mac mini is actually connected to this monitor and the Mac pro is connected to these two monitors. Mm. Oh, I bet I don't want to lose this. There we go. <laughs> I was afraid it was yeah. everything. It's going to fall. Oh. Yeah. The, um, yeah, that's cool. The the cinema display actually has its own camera that's built in, but in order for me to use it as close as I am right now, and I can't really move it too much farther back because of the, the setup here, it was basically I was like I was like this, <laughs> like the top of my head was missing. You couldn't see the top of my head, and I couldn't mm-hmm. tilt it enough to uh, to use it. So I went back to the the Logitech 930E um, webcam, which isn't a bad webcam. Yeah, well, I like Logitech webcams. They got some nice ones that I've had before in the past anyway, so. Oh, Marcus but, uh, says that he's still butthurt about that deal I got. <laughs> Snooze you lose, dude. Yeah. I jumped hey, in man, fast when I, saw, when I saw that price. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Markets always get deals anyway. Don't worry. He basically gets his pots and pans or whatever else he buys. I think he's going to go down the Pawn, Pawn America place or whatever he goes to. Well, are are you going to go to uh, to Max Stock this year? Or are you going to try? Didn't have plans on it, but then again, it might would be interesting. Maybe it could be interesting to go check it out. I know that's Dave Hamilton. I know likes going to that, right? You know, so yeah, he actually did like a, a talk thing. on um, uh, what is it? It's this, the new wi-fi thing where you've got like several mm-hmm. access points oh you're talking mesh, mesh wi-fi yes, I mean, yeah, yes. the mesh, stuff he did a talk on mesh thing. wi-fi and uh it was really that, which is which honestly this year is the big um uh this is the big thing this year i'm getting a number of clients upgraded with that stuff now because once it finally looks like it's settled in with the arrows are working good um i will say that you know i'm reading some support forums but I've actually tried a few different ones out, and the uh, Orby Necro Orbeez are good for range. Stability wise, they're not as stable as the as the, um, as the arrows, but and the arrows a little bit less range. But uh, I'm going to say either way, basically, that there's great solutions out there for people who have larger 
their homes and whatnot, or even just regular size homes, that the FCC doesn't allow you to have the kind of power of what you need to blast out, you know, the coverage you need. Right. So, well, I've got, I've, I've, got it, direct, I've got direct. I've got direct Cat good. Six to both the computers in here, so. Good. You know, and my what wife you, and my son seem happy enough with with the Wi-Fi that we have. So, and what I'm do, not going to spend a lot of money. Airport? What do you have now? Airports? No, it's got, it's just the the standard. Um, I don't want to say what the ATM, service I, is. I, it's the standard. Is your ISP? Yeah. ISP yeah. router, basically. Okay. Yeah. yeah you know. I mean, I mean it's nothing. again. I will say, here's the thing. You know, if you aren't really into having twenty or thirty devices on your net Wi-Fi and trying to do all the smart home stuff and everything yeah. else, then yeah, I mean, a lot of times That's you're fine. fine with the ISP and variety thing. You know, but for people that want full coverage, because they know, you know, you get, let's say you want a smart lock or you want to go out and do, you know, like a ring doorbell or, you know, one of these other things, I mean, you need coverage, right? You can't just rely upon if it's just a single spot, it may not have, you know, maybe a little weak in that area where you're trying to basically put that equipment. So, you know, and most things run on Wi-Fi nowadays. So. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I can see it's cool technology. Like I said, I'm noticing people like it's using it and because they have to, I mean, if we, Around there here, like after the people have these big, big homes, you know, so need they need the coverage, you know, so it's like it's important to have that. So, well, I know the yeah. um, my nephew has this huge house down near Daytona, and I really, really need to uh, see what he's doing. I don't know if he's doing some kind of mesh thing or if, or if the house is wired. Um, but my my brother and his wife basically, I mean, th this house is like 10 bedroom, 12 bathrooms. It's, it's a huge house. And there's a separate pool house that has a bedroom, living room, kitchen, bathroom, you know, and that's where my brother mm -hmm. and his wife are living. And I, you know, I, I don't really know how they've got their, their network set up. I, I should probably talk to them about that. You probably, I mean, if you got two spots there, again, that's usually, they, 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 if somebody has got like a pool house, definitely, they could definitely use something like this because, yeah. you know, because you, you want to get coverage everywhere as a thing. And and I'm just, and I can definitely say that one of the like about Arrow is this stuff's very simple to set up. They got great support. And uh, so it, it is, um, it's a good solution, anyways, you know. So, and, you know, cause like I said, Max Doc, yeah, definitely, um, and uh, Dave Hamilton does talk about it a lot. On well, not a lot, but sometimes on Mackie Gap when it comes up and everything, so it's cool. So yeah, and, it, and it's two days of just. Uh, uh, did you ever go out to the MacWorld Expo? Oh yeah, I've been to MacWorld like, numerous times in San Francisco, of course. Um, went one time to Boston, basically, when they still go in there, and uh, we just. And so, unfortunately, I'm going to say that that didn't really IDC when they when Apple pulled out and then things sort of pulled back off of there. It's unfortunate that it sort of ended up having to die out because I felt like if they'd restructured a little bit more, make it more like a Mac stock or a good, like I'm thinking Mac stock is or like a user group. So like you'll go there and learn things and, you know, more of a community thing then it could have been better. I'm thinking anyways, versus the way they worked out basically. Well, the, is, the still biggest kind of problem the with kind of the Mac world expo you know, once Apple pulled out was just how much money it costs to put on an expo like that in San Francisco. Right. I mean, no, well, I gotta tell you, San Francisco basically I've heard from where the Gerber's talking about this four hundred dollar night you know, uh, hotel rooms. It's, it's yeah. insane. I mean, you know, so so yes, it's it's something that I would look, you don't have, you don't have to do it in San Francisco. That could say that's the other thing. You could do it down here in San Jose. I mean, honestly there are places that are cheaper basically, you know, to go to. I know that San Francisco is a draw, obviously of course that's the thing. People want to come to the city I and mean, that's part of what it is. But, well, shit. I mean, um, you could do it. Do it you know, outside of Washington D.C. Do it outside of Chicago, Austin, Texas. Sure, sure. You know, there's yeah, exactly. There's a plethora of places Charlotte that Hill, you could go Charlotte to Hill, besides example, San Francisco, you know, you which go, is like one of the the, the most expensive cities to uh, go to in the world as far Las, as staying someplace. Let's take Las Vegas for example. You yeah. know, you could always have some. You know, I mean, they have plenty of hotel rooms, and I'm sure they'd be very happy to cut a deal. You know, like the deal with the other trade show, like CES a bit too. And it's like, yeah, you go, you go, you you go there. You tell them you're going for CES, then make sure you get a good rate. You know, right. 
because he has already explained them the hotels and said look we're coming here and this is part of the the, the deal basically is we're going to bring a lot of business here you're not charging us regular on my our customers you're not charging us the regular rates you give me some sort of break you know and of course they know people will gamble as well and they'll make they'll make the money up anyway so <laughs> of course <laughs> you know, or the, you know, the dining or whatever else it is it's additional business so it's good for them so you know yeah, the house always makes their cut Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's, that's, that's basically what it's all about, you know, and they basically have it set up for them to make their money. So, you yeah. know, stuff. but, um, yeah, so the test looks like it's working, which is good. Um, this is, uh, so. people that are asking about max stock, it's going to be next July. Um, if history is any guide, cause there hasn't been any firm dates, yeah. at least not on the website yet. If history is any guide, it'll be like mid July. But cool. once the dates are actually announced, you know, I will be talking about it here. I'll be talking about it on the MyMax show. Um, oh, yeah. So, you know, it, it's it's not like we're going to leave you in the dark as far as when this event's going to take place. Uh, but there's going to there's supposed to be a couple of, of cool things that are going to happen next year. Carl, Carl Madden, uh, Mac oh, and Forth. And, yeah, he's good. I love him. Um, so many different shows. I, I've had him on my Mac a number of times. He's supposed to be flying over here to D.C. And then once he's here, and maybe with one more person, either the two of us or the three of us are going to do the drive to Chicago in a single day. And if things go the way I think that I want them to, we're going to have a couple of small cameras set up in the car and probably record some stuff on the way out there. So, but it's looking like that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Carl's crazy. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy. And I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing him over here in the States. I've actually never met him in person. I've seen him a number of times, um, you know, through Skype and, and things like that. But we haven't met in person yet. I've only met, I mean, I've been doing a, a show with gas since 2009 we didn't actually meet in person until 2015 at the very first Mac stock. Yeah. And that's cool because actually, like I said, the technology nowadays, we can meet people online like this and actually get to know people and then have an opportunity to meet them in person, you know, here and there. I mean, it's, it, it's cool because you already have like, a, you already know what the people are about versus just like come to something cold and be like, hi, I'm so-and-so. <laughs> yeah, right. So, it's it's great. I, I I love this technology nowadays. And these Skype, like I say, you're right. It's just one of those things where it's amazing. You can just talk to people like around the world for free, Anywhere. and exactly. And and it's video chat or, or audio, either way you want to do it. Text chat, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, fun stuff. So. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, the it's event really itself, um, Damon is asking. It, it's it's held just outside of Chicago in Woodstock, Illinois which coincidentally is the same place that they filmed the outdoor scenes for the movie Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray. Ah, that's cool. Which, that was a well, it was movie, actually supposed to be in Punxsutawney, but their okay. their window for shooting, the outdoor scenes, uh, there mm. was no snow in Punxsutawney. Mm. So they went to Woodstock, Illinois. So you can actually see, if, if you go, uh, if you go downtown to downtown Woodstock, you can actually see the square where you like, they were having the little dances. Um, you can right. see the exterior of the hotel that, um, damn it. What's her name? The, the female lead. Not Jennifer Aniston. Was gonna say, Jennifer Aniston was it in there? No. Um, Oh God. What's her name? She's so, she's so gorgeous. Well, it doesn't matter. Ah. Um, at least not yeah, in the context exactly of this conversation. Anyway. Uh, but you exactly. can see you can see all the exteriors of the buildings. It's it's great. It's a real right. it's a real nice town, about an hour outside of Chicago. Uh, Chicago. So that's going to be next July, and I'll be there for sure. I've been cool. to the last three, and there's always there's any always McDowell, a ton of really really yeah. good people there. Any any McDowell, yeah. Yep. Uh, yes. I just looked it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right, um, I think we're going to end cool. this. We've, we've, I think we've proven, at least for tonight, that it works. Yeah. Now, will it work next Wednesday? Don't know. Cross our <laughs> fingers. Hopefully, yes. 
hopefully. All right, Brian. Well, cool. I, pr- I appreciate it, dude. Okay, no problem, man. You have a great weekend, and uh, hopefully see you online on Wednesday for the show. Yep. So cut our fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. Cheers. Bye. Okay, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your comments. Uh, I, I'm not going to load this one up to YouTube. This is just, you know, a, a test. Uh, but it will be here on the Mac to the Future site. So uh, if people want to come and, and see that, yes, the Xeno live service actually does work, uh, usually, and that uh, you can call us. You know when we when we ask for calls next Wednesday. Oh, why am I so tired? Yeah. And um, let me get back over. There we go. We will see you all later. Bye. <laughs>